Hello everybody thank you so much for joining us today for this exciting talk today i will be joining mohammed a software engineer from yodel and we will be presenting together an interesting topic around build and deploy url shortener using typescript and docker let us get started a little about myself i work for docker i have been part of docker captains program for the last 6 years I am a Docker Bangalore community leader and I have been leading community of around 11000 members. Do check out my personal website where I have around 350 plus blogs written on Docker, Kubernetes and cloud. In the past I worked for companies like Redis, Dell EMC, VMware and CGI. Over to you Mohammed. Thank you Ajit. So my name is Mohammed Ali. I'm a backend engineer at Yodo and also a Docker community leader. I was an organizer in the community Docker community of Zurich and then I have created a community of around Docker in Black Forest Germany and I'm also a frequent blogger you can access my blog medium blog using the link that is shown on the screen I usually write about git mostly weekly and also docker so that's on me at it Okay so before we deep dive directly into url shortener implementation let us try to understand what is url shortener and why do you need it now by the name url shortener you might have predicted that it is a popular technique which is used to create a short aliases for a long url links right you might be knowing about popular websites like tiny url bitly and all and all they do is basically they offer an online url shortener services now the next question would be why are these url shortener techniques so popular first the url shortener technique it allows you to create a short url which is again easy to understand easy to remember easy to manage for example say if you have a brand name a short url might consist of snippet of your company name which is easier to identify correct Now second there might be a case where you have been provided with oversized or hard to guess url so think of it is like if uh, there are certain kind of a url which has utms into it right now that might look like too suspicious or clunky so url shortener can help can be helpful in such cases where you don't really have to go ahead and you know burden yourself okay in this slide we are going to talk about how these url shortener actually work so whenever a user click a link say think of it is like if there is any uh, tiny url link once you click it and uh, so an http request is basically sent to the backend server with the full url okay so it is sent uh, to the backend server with the full url and these backend servers they read the path part that maps to the database and in that uh, basically in the database we store the description we store a name as well as a real url so it basically maps to the database and then it issues a redirect which is nothing but an http uh, 302 response with the target url and if the url is not found then you get 404 uh, you write the message right so so that is how this particular tiny url works now how to implement this tiny url there are multiple ways actually to implement those url shorteners you can pick up your uh, favorite uh, programming languages so in our last collaborative uh, blog post we picked up python and django for implementing url shortener but for this video we are going to see how we can implement it using typescript and nextjs now why typescript why why we have chosen a typescript and nextjs that could be one of the question right now if you see over the last 5 years uh, typescript popularity has surged among the enterprise developer in stack overflow uh, 2022 developer survey you might have seen typescript is ranked third in the most wanted category now the reason being uh, typescript offers you every uh, modern javascript features Uh, where it introduces a powerful concepts like interfaces unions and intersection types uh, these uh, concepts are are really important to improve a developer productivity by clearly displaying the syntax errors which 
you might occur during the compilation rather than letting the things run uh, fail at the runtime. Uh, overall, uh, TypeScript uh, basically it inspires the developers to thoroughly document their code and inspire the great confidence through ease of use. So with this, I would like to hand it over to Mohammed, who is going to show you how to build this URL from scratch through a quick demo. Thank you. So to run the application, we're going to clone it first. I'm going to go to my profile repositories and the one that I'm looking for is called link shortener. There are two of these link shorteners. One is written in Python Django and the other one is TypeScript not Nest.js basically. I'm going to open that, copy the link and go to my terminal. The repo is cloned, change the directory into it. And then if you look into the content, there is a Docker compose file that I'm going to use and run the application. So I have Docker desktop, so there is no hyphen in here. If you use Docker compose, the version written in Python, then you have to use the Docker Compose with a hyphen. I'm going to use this command as I'm running on Mac and Docker Compose is a subcommand of Docker itself. So the Redis image is being pulled as we use Redis in this project. Also, the Docker image is built and then it starts. To make sure it is up and running, we do a Docker Compose PS. And you can see that the Redis database is there up and running, and also the backend service is listening to port 3000. So I'm going to check it out. Send the post request using curl. The data has the format of HTTP requests when you submit a form. So it's going to be your O equals to, yeah, you can say, for example, google.com or docker.com. And then the URL is shortened. It will create a hash that you can see here. And then if I send another request, a get request, and then give it the, the hash that is currently created, then it will redirect me to the URL that I have given in the beginning. That's mostly the demo. If you want to create such an application using Nest.js from the scratch, you can follow the instructions here, or you can follow the blog post that we have written with Ajit together and is published on the Docker blog. It has more details and more description on why do we do any of these steps, how these steps work, and yeah, so how everything works together.